Uh, recently, I tried to analyze in particular the peculiarities of applying military art uh, based on Cossack analogs in modern warfare. Uh, let's take combat operations in the battles for Mykolaiv, for example. Uh, after trying to break through to Krivirih, they focused on the battles for Mykolaiv. So there were our troops and the enemy. I deduce there were about 8-9 tricks on both sides, but the, coef but the coefficient of our fighters' performance was a lot higher, despite the fact that our soldiers acted in a harder situation, had less equipment and the first, at the first stage, I mean the March events from late February through March until March 16, if I'm not mistaken, our fighters used much better military tricks, like fighting at night, creating ambushes and luring the enemy uh, their mechanized columns uh, into the area where um, fuel supplies were cut off and logistics were disrupted. In uh, other words, we draw pa parallels to everywhere. Uh, uh, of course, it was on a different military technical level, but this advantage of Ukrainian thinking in military art, Ukrainian soldier with soldier cooperation, is the Cossack's legacy. Initiative, determination, courage, efficiency, and uh, whatever can be added to all this. This may not be enough if there aren't uh, enough troops or technical equipment, but if there's enough, the advantage is ours.